Hey, hello. Hey, is this Ryan? Yeah, is this Andrew? Yeah, how's it going? It's going good, man. Are you able good. to talk right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. Um, just so you know, this is I'm recording this conversation, so okay, so that I can, you know, reference it to, t to type things up later. All right, no worries. So, uh, how are you right now? Uh, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Um, hope you are as well. I am. We had a show here last night. And it was really fun. Yeah, Purgatory Place, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so I played in Fayetteville the night before over at um, By Your Shades. Oh, so. cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah, now I met Shannon for the first time also, so. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And Josh yeah, Josh got two birthdays in a row, I guess. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was awesome. <laughs> How did you get hooked up with, uh, with, with, that, with that crew over there in Fayetteville? Um... Uh, honestly, I mean, I've been online for the last, like, two or three years just, like, promoting my stuff, and uh, I'm not even sure. I think Shannon hit me up, like, uh, months ago, and I was supposed to play up in Greenville uh, a few months ago, whatever I was talking to her about playing, and then we ended up doing, deciding to do it another time um, or at night. So, I mean, I guess I think she just hit me up. I guess she, like, heard my music or whatever, but, I mean, I've been, like, networking on Facebook for a while. I think I just kind of got things up with, you know. Yeah, you guys somehow. <laughs> yeah, right, right on, right on. Yeah, Shannon yeah. is very uh, extroverted. She 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 contacts a lot of people, so that's probably how. right, right. Yeah, yeah. She's been such a help. Like it's been yeah, it's been great. So <laughs> yeah, awesome. So, yeah. Uh, um, where are you located in the state? Well, uh, right outside of Columbia. Um, so it's uh, it's actually Elgin. It's like probably about 20 minutes outside of Columbia, like a very residential, little small town. So, Have, Is that where you've always been from? Um, I grew up uh, near here, like in Kershaw, South Carolina. Um, and then my family's actually from New York. So like, a lot of my family's in New Jersey now and like hmm. Delaware and has moved like out from, um, you know, New York is. <laughs> but, okay, but, are you like friends or related somehow with, um, the, um, what's his name, Adam from Bazadar? By any chance? Um, Adam Rizowski? No, I don't know if I know who that is, actually. Adam Rizowski? No, uh, no, I don't think I know. I know oh, them. that's weird, because uh, they're from Columbia, and they're also from New Jersey. So I thought, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I'm not like quite a few people down here from um, here, Rizowski. Are they Jewish? <laughs> I'm half Jewish, so. No, uh, I don't think he's Jewish. He's Polish. uh Syrian, uh, I think. Polish and Syrian. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll uh, check them. Check them. Like you said, I think I've heard the name of the band, maybe. Baza Hadar. Yeah, I think, I think so. I think um, he's played like Babylon or whatnot, right? Yeah, he has. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I definitely heard about, heard about him. That's cool. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll put you in touch then. Do you, ever put, do you ever do shows down there in Columbia? Yeah, um, the last one I played was at the Roach Motel. It's um, my friend Robin. She has a. It's like her house. It's like it's like a house venue. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, she keeps those shows down there. Uh, like it's very small space, so it's like very um, kind of like small acts and whatnot. And then we have New Brooklyn is obviously the big venue down here. I played there. Yeah. Um, quite a few times, and I mean, we were supposed to play like there. A big show there a few months ago, and then like COVID, you know, um, we got canceled because of COVID. So oh, yeah. they, they kind of have you know been off and on because of that. But yeah, that, yeah, that but, put a lot of shit on pause for sure. It did because like I, I taken a little bit of time off from music, and then that March where like they started shutting things down, I was just had a show, I had a show in Atlanta, I had like so many shows, but they all got canceled. Like everybody's shows got canceled, and it's just like. Yeah, it was it was a pain. But, I mean, I understand it, but it was yeah. No, it was a big <laughs> pain. Yeah, so we had to cancel American Babylon four because because it was supposed to happen that May, so there was no way in hell to uh, do it. Yeah, right. So we ended right. up missing a year of that. But that you know, it was. I mean, obviously it's for the best, but that was uh yeah that was annoying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, and we got an art bar down here in Columbia too. Um, I haven't played art bar yet actually, but this um, it's a cool little bar. It's um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> people say it's a. Uh, it, it, people say it's a gay bar. It's not a gay bar, but it won Columbia's best gay bar like five years in a row, and it's not a gay bar. It's funny, but it's, it's a cool little bar. <laughs> oh my god! It's like, it's like he's winning. I guess like we, we finally have a gay bar now. I guess we didn't really have an official one. It's a Capital Club or something like that. I've been there, but <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
That's so funny. Yeah, it's not a gay bar. Like every year winning, <laughs> yeah, gay bar of the, of the city. <laughs> not even a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> They have, like, I guess they have like drag shows and stuff. Yeah, so I guess they, you know, got, like the, you know, kind of counts. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, do you know? Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you know Lucas Sands from Pray for Triangle Zero by any chance? Uh, no, I feel like I've seen them online, like, you know, just doing yeah. comments or just on, you know, yeah, combo wise. He's, <laughs> he's in Columbia, too. That's what I'm I don't know if okay. you know the same people. You're, you're a little younger than he is, in, though, so, so that, uh. Yeah, yeah, I'm 27, so. Yeah, I got you. Um, yeah. So. so, how long have you been playing music? Oh, man. Since, uh, well, I come from, a, my dad's a musician, so I mean, since I was like fourth grade or something, I was, well, actually, the, the first like musical memory was actually, um, I would get, <laughs> I would get like two cassette players, and I would get like, I would find like, um, like a, you know, a Rolling Stones cover of like an older song. Yeah. And I would try to like, I would get two cassettes and like play them like together, like slightly off with the cover in the original. And it's like I was like producing before I knew I was trying to be a producer or something. Uh-huh. You know? So I was like, oh, that was like my first like musical memory, just like playing with like tapes. <laughs> oh hell yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I used to. Uh... My, my dad is um, he plays in. My dad plays in uh, like a more of a session. He like played like in like church stuff, and then he plays like night like um, cafes and that kind of stuff. He's um like soul and country music that kind of stuff. So. And does he play that under his own name? Or has he got like an act, like a band, or what? Yeah, um, yeah. He, well, yeah. I mean, he mainly does like kind of session work and like plays with people. What's so, so He's not like a rec- recognizable name. Or anything, yeah, I got you. Know? you. But okay. then he played like with a church band for like years and, years and traveled with them and everything. It was like a, um like a. Pentecostal like church, oh sweet, yeah, church band. And, Those are very yeah, musical so. though. Like I played, I played, actually, believe it or not, I played for a year in a Pentecostal church. So I hey, actually, that's <laughs> um, that's not bad because I mean they're they're like wacky in a way that actually kind of <laughs> there's something there is is something because I yeah Pentecostal <laughs> doesn't surprise of, me because kind of like, Pentecostal churches are kind of like the most psychedelic Christian churches in a weird way. Like there's some, oh, easily. They're, they're yeah. like the hippies of Christians, maybe, yeah. And they have a lot of, like, uh, stranger ways of, you know, doing services and stuff like that. Like, lots of, like, yelling and uh, dancing around and stuff. It's interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely experienced that for a while. Um, when my parents kind of went through being in the for a while, but, um, yeah, it was. I mean, and the music was always better than like the contemporary. Like, I know you feel like the contemporary like Christian music that you know the like the pop. Well, I don't right. know how to describe it. Like the acoustic pop it is way better than that. At least you know. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Like if, if like uh, like what, what, when we used to do it when I was like twenty twenty one, I was I guess into going to church and shit, and I, and I was yeah. uh, I played guitar for like every Sunday for a year, which is actually kind of how I got some discipline on my instrument. And, uh, mm. and yeah, like it was, it was a lot of like vamping and stuff. Like when, like the pastor would talk and he'd, you'd have to quiet down and then he'd like rate, you know, be like, all right, everybody get loud again. You know, it's an interesting way to try oh. to like play. Yeah. I was always fascinated by the Pentecostal pastors. Not like, I understand there's like a lot of problematic stuff that I'm not like, promote, sure. but like the way they would like, the way they would gather the crowd was always fascinating to me and always like really. I, don't know, I was like fascinated by like how you know the charismatic ability and like all the um oh yeah yeah just yeah it's interesting crazy. it's crazy and interesting exactly um yeah. do you carry any of those uh, beliefs with you now um let me think I mean not I have like, some traditional beliefs but not not really that way one thing about like the Pentecostal church I went to was like it was very small and. Mainly, most people went there are probably like lower income and poor, and there was this like general like almost disregard of the rich, or almost like like you know people you know in the church will just be like you know like oh those rich people they don't care about us. I mean, I, I went through this whole like Marxist phase. Yeah. I'm still being kind of Marxist, but I went. There, it led me to being like into socialism and Marxism because really a lot of like socialists like sound kind of like Pentecostals in a certain way when you talk to them. Yeah. There's like a lot, there's some overlap there. So it kind of like got me into like thinking in that kind of way. So I mean, I guess in that kind of way, sure. Sure, sure, sure. And yeah. uh, what do you like, uh, I know you program uh, your own beats and stuff like that. Like your music is really interesting to me. And honestly, uh, oh, thanks. I had heard, I think I'd heard it before uh, American Babylon submission, but then that's when I gave it like a really thorough listen. And uh, I definitely right. think it's really cool. And everybody else thinks it's really cool that that's going to be part of it too. Uh, but I was going to ask, like, do you play any um, 
like live instrumentation at all as well? Well, um, actually for Babylon, I'm trying to decide what to do because what I've been doing, um, all my instrumentals are made by either me or um, my best friend, Jarkees. Um, you see him, he performs with me and he's like featuring a lot of my stuff. He also with uh, some of the beats too and sings on some of the stuff too. Yeah. Um, so usually it's him like DJing for me and I just sing out front. But we're thinking about doing something kind of weird for Babylon because it's kind of like a bigger yeah. kind of thing. So we're, uh, we're thinking about like adding a couple people maybe or we, we don't know quite yet. But, um, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Anyone, anyone who's in the band or anyone who's performing can stay as long as they want. They get a free four, 40 pass too. And we're going to try to feed um, at least one nice meal to the to the performers every day too. So. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, that sounds great. Hell yeah. So, how old were you when, when you say when you started writing your own music? Oh. um... <laughs> maybe sixth or seventh grade so what about what, 12 11 or 12 um i started with like like talk but like very specific like like the ramones were like my first like one of my first favorite bands i remember like hearing them and like also i'm like i, I actually have like ocd like a actually like diagnosed with ocd and like something about like the way the Ramones did punk, like, just, like, really inspired me because it was, like, the uniformity of it and, like, the one, two, three, four. Yeah. So I was kind of my first, like, so I was always trying to write, like, just, like, Ramones-style songs, you know, three chords, you know. Uh, yeah, so I was probably 11 trying to just, like, really just rip them off. <laughs> yeah, for sure, sure. Yeah. So. And you and you picked up a guitar and you kind of went for it? Yeah, I started out playing bass because um, my dad was, is he plays the but he mainly was playing bass, so I just, um, started kind of playing and I think I had taken some lessons, but then I kind of went through my own thing and my dad kind of showed me the basics and I was just started playing like whatever I could, um, you know, like kind of country church stuff. And then like I said, a lot of like punk stuff, um, you know, the clash, that kind of stuff. And yeah, and I eventually picked up the guitar and started playing. Um, and we, so my dad played bass, obviously, it's in the guitar. You have two basses, but you're not really supposed to, usually. Yeah. So, you know, pick the guitar, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you start recording? Oh, about that same time with, um, I'll have, like, a little, you know, I, like I said, the cassette player, like, a little, um, I think I had, like, a Zoom thing for a while that would record, and I would just beat on the tables <laughs> and, like, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, that's very similar actually to my my upbringing as well. My uh, my we, we were fostering a kid, my foster brother. He played drums, but like he would just like pencils on the back of cookie tins and stuff like that. Like while yep. cassette played, record. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Whatever you get your hands on. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, because you know you want to create something, but you just don't really know what what you're doing yet. So it's like you just anything that's around, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got the drive, so you got to make some kind of noise somehow. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um. Let's see. Uh, is, do you work in any other arts? Do you write or, or, or paint or anything like that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've done well, – uh, I uh, yeah, I write, and uh, I, I did a lot of theater growing up, too. I actually, up until COVID, I was doing a dinner theater over on, um, in Columbia. Um, oh, nice. so, I mean, I've done a lot of, like, theater-type stuff. Um, and then like, I was a kid. Like, I was in, like, fifth grade. I was, like, in some kind of drama program, and they canceled it a year later because of, like, budgeting issues or something. So, I mean, yeah, and then I've done, like, a lot of, like, I did, like, some church theater growing up, too, like, some puppet-type stuff. Um, oh, yeah? Puppet then, like, yeah, I write, like, short stories. I'm trying to come up with some of those right now. I just got kind of bogged down with, like, music, you know, playing some of these shows and everything. But, yeah, hell yeah. And are you playing a, a, a lounge, around more often now? Oh, yeah. I mean, any, right now, anything, like, anybody has, like, we uh, we get in the car and just go, like, let's say we went to Fayetteville Friday. Um, before that, we went to Augusta the week before. Oh, hell yeah. And then we, yeah, then like, a weekend before that, we went to um, uh, went to Charleston and up to Spartanburg, which is, like, we're in between that. <laughs> so it was, like, yeah. it's, like, a two-hour drive one way and a two-hour drive the other way. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess those are the three, like, well, like, cities down there in South Carolina is Charleston, Columbia, and then, like, Greenville, Spartanburg, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then Augusta, Georgia is, like, right across the line, so that's, like, Got a lot of the same kind of scene as Columbia, yeah. So definitely. Shannon knows a lot. Of, like you still live in Charleston, so if you need help booking up shows there, she might be a good resource for that too. Oh yeah, she got us the show. We played at Tua Lingua, and she's the one that basically got us the show. Oh, awesome. um, She said just say, <laughs> yeah. That was like that's one of our favorite venues. So yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's of course that's very her. She is so involved in everything everywhere. It's amazing. 
Um, yeah, you guys all have like your uh, thing very like organized. Like I dealt with like like <laughs> I used to be so discouraged with music because I dealt for years and years with people would say, um, "Hey, I can get you the show. Just let me know." And I'd say, you know, okay, you know, hey, can you get me the show? And they just go missing or just never get it. And it's like, oh, you guys just playing around. You know, it's like right. people just bra- brag. You know, so it's like. It's good to have people actually can get you a show. <laughs> no, yeah, they, they, you know? they've got a well. They got Spats here, which is like Jeff Blinder's thing that he's been doing since man, since before I was doing anything. So like twenty five years, he's been doing it. And then, uh, yeah. and then CFR was kind of my thing that I started about ten years ago, and that's kind of picked up a lot of steam. And then uh, Shannon was work, working with Jeff, and now she's working kind of with me and Jeff. But she also does her own thing. She just like is constantly in motion. You know, she's constantly like promoting people and stuff. It's really impressive. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, okay, yeah. so uh, let's see. What haven't we covered? Have we? Is there anything else? Oh, do you have Do you have any projects coming up? Are you working on any albums or? Yeah, I'm working on an album right now. Um, it's just like getting, we've uh, ordered some equipment too that we're waiting to come in to get like a better mic and whatnot. But um, yeah, I've got an album I've been working on um, for a while. We'd be out, you know. ASAP, you know. Oh, yeah. so I, I, I got it written. It's just I got to finish the vocal recording and get everything mixed up good. But nice. And it's one a- other thing too, I will say too is interesting. Um, most of my um, a lot of my stuff is like more influenced by literature, even than I mean it's music, obviously. But um, like comic books, like like my first album that I put out, like like the Sandman, which is popping up because of the show. But I promise I'm not just saying that. But, um, but it's like the Sandman I was reading, and like like have, like. Several of those songs is about like reading, like, you know, stuff I read in the Sandman. Like, I was trying to bring it to like through music, and um, so like comics and like philosophy. So it's it like that and like anti Oedipus. My first album were like <laughs> I was thinking about anti Oedipus by Deluge and the Sandman by No Game Man were like the two. <laughs> oh, righteous. <laughs> kind of, you know, yeah, good choices. Yeah, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so, so do you know? Do you have a, do you know approximately when that's supposed to come out? <laughs> The, the, uh, the upcoming. Yeah, I would like to say October first. That's what I'm shooting for. Okay. So cool. Yeah. So back in yeah, but I'll definitely be dropping like more songs and everything on my uh, page as it you know, as it comes up. But yeah. So yeah, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be called um, Psycho Pump Lip Service. I'm not sure if that will be the title. But that's been the working title. That's a great title. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So. Yeah, um, yeah, for most part, like, it's, some of the lyrics are about, like, um, religious guilt and, like, oh, yeah. um, stuff like that, and just, like, you know, that kind of stuff. And, sure. Yeah, so. I mean, that's real stuff, you know? Yeah, 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 that, and then all kind of, like, dissonance and cutting the dissonance and just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. You said yeah, you. It sounds kind of like a Twilight Zone, so, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's easy to write about. <laughs> you said that you're gay or you're, you're queer in some capacity? Yeah, uh, I guess technically bisexual, but yeah, queer of yeah. some sort. <laughs> yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah and it's about that, lies you, and just, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff. But. Nice, nice, nice. All right, buddy. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else that I'm that, I, that I'm missing that you you wanna you wanna use this opportunity to promote, or it could be anything really? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Man, I don't know. I think that's kind of covered it. Um, you know, just keep looking out for shows and for the the album and whatnot. Um, should have merch coming out. <laughs> I'm trying nice. to make these. Uh, I already like kind of tested out the idea, like to see who would be interested. I'm trying to make these like kind of like <laughs> like uh, <laughs> kind of slutty looking crop tops with my uh, moniker yeah. on them. Hell yeah! <laughs> so I know those would sell out. No, so I'm trying to find someone to. Um, yeah, like some gas station almost looking. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, that's gonna people love crop tops, man. Yeah, yeah. Like one, one other thing I'll say too is like my aesthetic, like I was very influenced by like John Waters, or, like stuff like that, like his movies. Oh yeah. So it's like I love like glam mixed with like just any kind of trash. It was like uh, <laughs> like one of my first shows I played with this project. I had, um I got really nervous about the show because like for different reason, but so I was I was going to play this like punk house. And I got really nervous and I was like you know in my car and so I like. So well, I decided to go play. You know, I would play and I uh, put on like lipstick haphazardly and like look kind of trashy with my crop top. And the punk house was like trashy kind of looking. And I was like, "This is my aesthetic. This is perfect." Because it was like glam mixed with like a trashy punk house. That's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> but I love that. I love that. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's it. Well, hell yeah. Yep. 
Uh, that sounds great, man. You got a lot of energy, and uh, I love that too. And you you speak well, yeah. which is awesome, and get, get got a lot of information in like a very short amount of time. Here. Yeah, maybe too much. People say I talk too much, but if you knew my family, you would know. <laughs> are you also are you also from the Italian family? Yes, man. I'm a half I'm a half Italian. I got Italian on both sides of my family. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. So you, know, yeah, you ever have uh, you ever have like three people trying to have a conversation with you at one time? <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I think I think that's why we're clicking in this conversation because like there's a certain way of like talking where you like one person interrupts another person and everyone jumps in as soon as they can and stuff. And, uh, it, right. it's more natural. You try to do it with some of the people in the South and like, they feel, it feels like you're running over them sometimes. Like I feel like I'm running over them and I like, okay, I got to cool back, you know, go backwards. I really had to do that. And I had to like count before like, like seconds, like, okay, wait 10 seconds and start talking. Cause it's like, I can't like, I can't wait this to start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I want to make them feel like they're, they have space, but it's really just a cultural difference. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's been great talking to you for sure, though. Yeah, definitely great. Yeah, awesome. And I'll see you at American Babylon. Sounds good. I oh, appreciate it. Oh, yeah. By the way, oh. if you could provide me some like pictures like of you performing and maybe some album covers so I could use them and yeah, sure, yeah. kind of put them through the article. And it will be out. It will be in the edition that comes out September 1st right before American Babylon, too. So that'll be cool. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, I'll promote the fuck out of this. So yeah, no worries. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. All right, man. Nice, nice uh, talking to you, and finally, uh, you know, over the phone. Oh, definitely. Uh, thanks. All right. All right. Have a good Thank night. You. you too. Bye. Right, you too. Bye. <laughs>